This video is about changing the rear spring on my 2016 Africa Twin. Unfortunately I have no videos of the disassembly as the camera wasn't working properly. So we'll have to pick up at the reassembly and the respring work. So sit back and enjoy and I'll attempt to narrate as we go. This setup shows how I pulled the spring down to remove the old spring and add in the HyperPro spring. I just simply wove two ratchet straps through the spring, used the jack to, in a controlled manner, increase pressure, at which time I was able to remove the two metal pieces that hold the top collar in place and then remove the spring. As you can see, when the pressure is released, the whole thing comes apart in a very controlled manner. At no time did I feel this was an unsafe situation. However, everybody needs to do it in the manner in which they feel safe. I use the exact same method Put the new spring on. If you take the time and balance the straps, which I didn't do in this video, it'll actually go together quite simply. I did this again a second time just to test and it worked much better the second time around. This picture shows where I added a grease nipple to the wishbone. I wouldn't bother doing it the only reason I considered it was in order to get the wishbone bolt out, I have to remove my center stand. However, the issue remains that if the bearing is in good condition, no grease added by the grease nipple will escape out through the bearings in order to grease them. So the only time that the grease nipple would prove anything is that it would prove that the bearings are shot because they're leaking grease. So in the end, I believe it was a noble attempt, but a worthless one. So don't bother. What I'm doing here is pulling apart this piece of the suspension and I'm going to re-grease everything. All the bearings were still in good condition after four years, but I wanted to make sure it was all greased up so that moving forward, an ounce of prevention concept. Bolts. Okay, that's pretty much greased up. Pop this one out.
that. Now, start putting them back together. Okay, 41 foot pounds. Get that off of there. Alright, now this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Okay, now we're going to put the swing arm back in. Okay, so let's just set that there. No, this should be fine. Okay. this to 59 which is Yeah, this is small. This one, passenger side or right hand side from the back, driver's side, left hand side from the back. So, clean up that other dust seal. Put some grease on here. If you guys watch anything that I do, you'll find that I use grease on everything. Brake caliper assembly out of the way while I roll that ahead. There, pop it back in place. Gonna... Oop, that's not going to work. Okay, let's get that back in there. I always have a difficult time with this. So, what we're going to do put some grease on the. That's four years. 40,000 kilometers. The only thing I've ever put on it is a little bit of grease when it comes out. Just gonna use this board to help support this tire once I get it. In.
Okay, you can see the how far the break is out. So I'm just going to spin it, give my brakes a few pumps. There we go. Just like that. Okay. That is. Let's just angle this back up. That's the rear tire installed. New. Let's pull this one. Okay. okay, so that's the tire installed. Nice shiny new Hyper Pro spring. All the rear underneath linkage has been all re greased, torqued. And in there, if you can see it, it's hard to tell. There's a grease zerk on the wishbone. Don't bother. It uh, was more of a pain in the ass than just pulling it off and redoing it. So we're going to take the bike, set it down, and when I come back, we're going to spin the bike around and start <clears throat> doing the front forks. Alright, I'm for today.